All right, let's begin. So what we want to do first is select uh, and find a model uh, to work with and to paint. And I've got a selection of websites for you where you could find uh, good quality models and free models as well. So uh, I've got Curl3D, uh, which I really like. Search uh, field here and you can filter by free models. Next, we've got my mini factory. I'm sure you know of this website, it's really popular. And uh, I also like Thingiverse, where the quality of mini is not always uh, great, but there is a large variety of free models. Just make sure uh, the license is uh, good for editing and painting. And finally, I also use Sketchfab, which is a great resource. There are lots of really good quality models. Some are free, uh, some you can uh, buy, and you can filter by collection as well. Just before you start exploring and selecting uh, models, I want to uh, emphasize on licenses. We need to really pay attention to the license associated with the models. Uh, in some websites, you can filter by the license, uh, like Mini Factory or Sketchfab. Uh, it's a, a great tool to avoid problems in the future. So what does a letter mean? Um, in CC BY, you need attribution in order to use a file and share it. So it's, it's kind of the holy grail for, for public use. The license similar is a MIT, I'll address it later. And next one, you've got the CC BY SA. So this one uh, needs attribution as well, and you must keep the original CC when sharing the file kind of the same. And next you've got CC by NC. So NC stands for non-commercial use and you can use this file, uh, edit the model, but you can't monetize on it, you can't sell it, you can't make profit with it. And finally we've got uh, the Dread license for free models. I really hate this one. It's the non-derivative, which means you can't edit, you can work on uh, the model, you can decimate or texture because that will be a new job, a new work on the original model. And so uh, even if the model is free, we won't be able to use it uh, in Blender or in Substance and create a new file. Then you've got the private use license, uh, which you could find on Curl3D or in uh, Thingiverse, I think. And this means you can't share the mini you will be painting. And finally, you've got the MIT license, uh, which is really great. Same as the um, CC BY with attribution, but you don't need attribution for this one. Anyway, I think it's best to give credit to the artists. So please consider it a CC BY with attribution when using a MIT is great for the artists and the community. So let's say you, you, you find a great model that you want to use but maybe the license is not quite right and you can't share it or you can't edit uh, the file. What you could do in that case is just contact the artist and ask for the authorization to use or edit the file uh, and share it to Modio or to your players. And that's what I did for this model, the Captain Shregoy by Wilfredo. And as you can see, it's private use, so I won't be able to share it. Uh, it's the same in Thingiverse, where you could have some, uh, there the license is indicated below, and sometimes you have a uh, private use in the description. So I just asked Wilfredo if uh, that was okay to use this model, and he said yay a few days ago. So we're going to paint this awesome captain. And first we'll be importing the file in Blender in the next video. I'll show you how to create the high and low uh, poly meshes, which are the files we'll be needing in Substance to paint.